What's up, fools? So, yeah. So, what we're doing here, I got to jockey stuff around. As you can see, 51 chassis up there, F100 chassis still back there, Caprice is still sitting on the lift, but, but, up in the old paint booth, there's color on the 51 on the firewall. So, that being said, we're gonna up here in a minute and show you. I gotta go up here, move stuff around because I'm gonna bring the body of the 51 back down here, put it on the lift, lift the body up off the rotisserie, slide the chassis underneath, and put them together for the final time, hopefully. So, that's kind of the plan. We gotta jockey stuff around here, so we'll see. Okay, we got that shit moved around. So, now that it's even more tighter than what it was, but hey, is what it is. When you only got a little bit of space, you gotta make do with what you got. I'm pretty good at Tetris, so, sometimes. Um, anyway, not that y'all wanna see all that time-lapse stuff anyway, but anyway, I don't know if I really went over what this car truthfully is. It's a 1951 Chevrolet Styline, so let's kinda go up here and look at this. This is what the car was when it started, when it came in here. That's what it looked like. It looked pretty freaking nice. So it's a Roadster Shop chassis. It's the, I think they call it the Revo, is what they call it. Um, so essentially it's all laser cut and then they TIG weld them together, all the channel and stuff. So uh, obviously coilover shocks, nothing no air ride no nothing does have bare brakes um it's nine inch rear i think it's a three 373 gear i believe this one is anyway it's a connecting cruise ls3 so like they're rated like 430 horse um 4l 75 transmission it's just a glorified 4l60 with five pinion planetary in it um but it's their package deal so literally 12 volts, ignition, and ground, drive it. Not that it's ever that easy, but that's essentially what it is. Um, so yeah, they're, and I mean, this whole thing came with the accessory drive, it's a Corvette accessory drive, everything. Um, only thing we did change, it has a sand and AC compressor to mount, to clear the, obviously the motor mount and stuff like that. You can see how close it is, it is close. Um, not running the tensioner because obviously with the rack the tensioner would not work so it's got a stretchy belt on it for the AC 
Um, with that, obviously, uh, power snare lines all made up. The cooler lines for the transmission are made up. Got essentially battery cables ran, fuel line ran. Then everything's got to be terminated in the back once we get the fuel tank and stuff like that. The battery's in the back. So essentially, hopefully everything is, I've had it together already. So it's just a matter of final assembly, you know what I mean? So, but that's essentially what this setup is. Um, I did make a custom intake for it that actually, it's real tight to the radiator because where the radiator sits. So it's a hard 90 comes through and then the tube actually goes through the inner fender and I built a air box that's inside the fender so you won't see the air filter. It's actually inside, because the inside of these fenders with the way the, the wheelhouse is, it's huge. Like, I mean, you could put a giant tire on the front. Not, it ain't gonna turn, but there's a ton of room in there. So with the filter hidden in there, and then like I said, the box to keep debris, water, and all that good stuff off of it. So that's all made up. Um, I did try to, once I lay the harness in, I did kind of go through and rework the GM harness to kind of clean it up as much as I can. Not that he wanted to paint the engine or anything like that. It's uh, just kind of leave it the way it is. So yeah, I think he's gonna paint the engine cover, the, the, uh, the isolator cover that most of the tuner guys hate because they do hold heat, um, color of the car, but. Anyway, we'll walk up here and I'll show you the firewall painted on this thing. Uh, Jorge's up here. I think he's untaping it. So we'll run up here and check this out. And we're going to get the tow truck here and then jockey this thing around here. Get it on the lift. Get it off the rotisserie. And sit her back down on this unit. So that's the plan for today. Um, just jockeying stuff around. Working with what you got. So... That's what we'd be doing. So let's run up here and check this thing out. See what's behind this door. Just the Mexican. Oh no. <laughs> there it is after all this time. And this guy busting his nuts over it. It's uh it's one color. It's not gray. So Looks pretty good. Looks really good. I think it's going to look really good in the sun. So yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that ugly fool back there. Set this thing down. He polished it up. 
obviously to where you can't get to it when it's sitting on there behind the motor obviously got the firewall polished up so uh here we go watch this <laughs> 